Hello Android gamers, great news. Today I'm going to show you how to play PC games on Android with the app DOSBox Turbo, the best and fastest DOS emulator out there for Android. Recent improvements such as Voodoo One support and improved Win9X emulation have been added by the developer Fishsticks. This incorporated with my Fallout for Android project, the Win image designed specifically to play Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics on Android gives us a platform that allows us to play all sorts of retro PC games. Big thanks to developer Fishtix for making this great application. Let's talk about how to get this set up and running for you. In order to get started, you'll need to have the DOSBox Turbo application installed on your Android device. Open this up for the first time and go to Settings. Go to DOSBox Settings, Advanced DOSBox Config, and scroll to the very bottom of this list. You'll need to put a check mark beside 3D Effects Glide Support and Manual Mode. If you don't do this, you won't be able to replace the DOSBox Config file and it will be defaulted when you run the app. You also won't have the benefit of 3D Effects Glide Support. You'll need to exit the app and restart it before these changes will take effect. Now we're ready to download our Win9X package for DOSBox Turbo. Look in either the video's description or the forum thread below and you'll find the full complete guide. Be sure to read this guide through, it has all the information on performance tweaking and setting up your games and device. There will be two packages to choose from. The first one is the recommended package. The difference is this package lacks CD ISO support. Inside of the emulated Win9X environment, we won't normally be able to run ISO images like we can from DOSBox using DOS games. So in order to get around this, we'll have to use Daemon tools emulated in the Win9X environment. This, however, can ruin the image's stability over time. So I recommend getting package 1.0 unless you have games that you need to use ISO support for, such as Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. I recommend trying to use workarounds, such as game fixes from Game Burn World. Once you've downloaded your package, place it on your desktop, extract the files, they'll be zipped. You can just extract it to your desktop or any convenient location. You'll have this folder here, which has your HDD images, your C image, and your DOS box config. Here's the complete guide that we've been looking at here. Refer to the next step of your guide. For step 3, you'll need to install a free 30-day trial of the WinImage program onto your PC computer. Be sure to use it before the 30-day trial passes. This program will allow you to open up the HDD images and place your game files within them and save them. Simply follow the link here or in the forum thread. Download the software here from the Softopedia website. Click this link. You'll need to choose a mirror, and the download will begin. Install the package onto your computer. It's very straightforward. Once this is complete, we'll be ready to open up our HDD images. Go back to your Win9X DOSBox Turbo package. Open up your HDD folder. Now we want to extract a 2GB HDD to house our game data. The default is 2GB. You can change this by referring to the guide and following the instructions here. You can also change the location where the game data will be stored. By default, it will be in your internal memory of your device. You can change it to your SD card by following these instructions. Now that our HDD is extracted, we're going to open it up and the WinImage program will allow us to navigate it and store data. Now we will need to place our game data into this empty space here. This is how we will access it from Android. We need to have our games previously downloaded and installed on our computer. No games are included. For this example, we'll be using Fallout 2. I have additional information on running Fallout 2, Fallout 2 Restoration Project, and Fallout Tactics on Android here. I recommend using Killapp's manual patches, because we'll need to copy and paste a few files into the Fallout 2 folder. You can find instructions here. We'll need Windows 98 compatibility. 
We can also run Fallout 2 Restoration Project. This is Killapp's incredible project to reunite the game with all its original content. Extra map locations, uh, weapons, random encounters, all these things will be improved simply by getting this incredible patch. You can read more about it from the links in the video's description. I highly recommend trying this out for your Android experience. You can also run Fallout Tactics, but you'll need a much faster Android device to do so. I'll also have additional information on setting up on-screen controls with virtual buttons to give you a better gameplay experience. Check it all out here in the guide, forum link, or video's description. Now find the game data located on your computer. The default location for good old game games will be C, Program Files, Good Old Game. Here you can find my Fallout 2 folder that's already been installed with the Restoration Project patch. Simply drag it into the empty space. Yes, and this will copy it over. Once this is complete, click this button here to save it to the HDD. We now have our game prepared and ready to be copied over to our Android device. We're now ready to transfer our game data and our image files to our Android device. Plug in your Android device with the USB cable. We're going to open up the internal storage, the default location where we're going to place the data. Close the WinImage program, find your HDD folder, and copy it over here into the internal memory. Just going to place it in the blank space. If you want to change this location to the SD card, you can refer to the guide in step 4. There's additional information and instructions on how to do this here. You'll need to edit the DOSBox config file. Once this file is finished copying over, there's two more files we need. We'll need the C image here and the DOSBox config here. Simply copy those over into the empty space with the HDD. Once all this data is finished transferring to your Android device, we'll be ready to start up the application and run our emulated Win9x environment. Let's try it out. Now that all our game data is in place, we simply need to run the DOSBox Turbo application from our Android device. In this case, I'll be using a Galaxy Note 2. Simply launch the application from the Play Store or the link on your home screen. If you see the Fallout Launcher load screen, you'll know everything is okay. If you don't see this, you may have failed to select manual mode and your DOSBox config may have been overridden. Here we are on our Vault-Tec desktop. This is what I envisioned a Windows-based Vault-Tec computer to look like. There's a few helpful shortcuts here. First off, you'll see the shortcut to D, which is the drive that stores all our game data. So there's a quick, easy shortcut here. Get you to your games faster. Here's the three games on my current image. And on top of this, I've also created a games folder for you to put the shortcut link onto the desktop just so you can get everything nice and easy. Try it out here. In our games folder, you'll see I already have links to those three games. Fallout 2, Diablo 1, and Age of Empires 2. So we're going to try these all out for you today. We're going to start with Fallout 2. Here's Fallout 2 on Android with DOSBox Turbo. Note all the intro videos play, but they can be a little slow. And we're going to fast forward to the load screen. Let's load up a game of Fallout 2. Now loading can take uh, quite a bit of time. So I'm going to give you a little tip on that. 
I like to load up Vault City, do a Vault City run. Now, after you've started your loading, you can swipe from the left side of the screen. This will bring up the DOS box quick menu. We can change the cycles here from auto to a nice high number, which basically cranks up, kind of overclocks the speed. Now, this will wreak havoc on the sound quality, but it will decrease the load times. So when you're loading a game like Fallout or something that takes a long time to load, you can crank this up like so and crank it back down when you're done. Just set it back to auto after it's finished loading. Here we are at Vault City. Let's take a look around, demo the performance for you. I'm running a Note 2. This is a quad-core device with two gigs of memory. It runs quite fast. I'd be very interested to know how a Tegra 4 device does with this. If you have one, please comment below. If you happen to work for NVIDIA, please send me one, thank you. Now the game is fully playable, you can buy, sell stuff, you can talk to your NPCs, everything runs well. What you be? Just want to have a little conversation with you, Sulik. How you doing? How are the spirits? Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? No, we just want to talk. Parlay. This one is not the one, but it helps to be the one. Maybe spirits know more, maybe not. We and I think they like to talk like that. Hmm. Grampy Bone be wise. Alright, we got a party. Let's hit the road. Well, I'm using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. You can fully use touch screen controls, on screen controls, overlay controls. You can bring up a joystick and thumb pad. Keyboard. Lots of different options for controls. I have an S Pen on my Note 2 that works just fine. And you can swipe away this menu from the top by swiping up, swiping down. You can also get to all those controls from the side menu right there. All right, we got our party. We're gonna go for a little ride, drink some beers, shoot some guns, see what happens. Oh, looks like we've encountered a gang on the highway here. Gonna have to fight for our lives. I think they messed with the wrong gunslingers. Vic, no! How dare you! That man fixed radios! Well, he tried to fix the radio. Kind of did it for him.
They were tougher than they looked. There you have it, Fallout 2 performance is quite good with DOSBox Turbo. I'm going to try something else now. Here we are playing Diablo 1. Runs very well, but the audio can be a little sketchy. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. If you must. The story of Wirt is a frightening and tragic one. He was taken from the arms of his mother and dragged into the labyrinth by the small, foul demons that wield wicked spears. There were many other children taken that day, including the son of King Leoric. What's well, a nice story. Let's go find us some cows. Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avengers! Find this Butcher and slay him so that our souls may finally rest. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Here's a little Diablo 1, the first dungeon. Beware, the sanctity has been fouled. This kind of game's a lot more fun than just clicking the screen, really. The S Pen works quite well for this game on the Galaxy Note 2.
I don't have a spell ready. I don't have a spell ready. Oh, you got me. There's a little Diablo 1 running. Looks quite good. On to some Age of Empires. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland. And it's time for us to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Parker. Good. Now, right oh. click near the blue flag. Age of Empire 2 really uh, pushes the limits of my device. But it's one to watch for future devices. Good. Now, move to the next flag. Click the soldier. Then right click near the flat. Bit here. There's quite a bit of marching before the fighting, so I'll probably fast forward some of that. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you will have won your first battle. You have it, AJ Empires 2 running on Android with DOSBox Turbo. Victory! Please subscribe to see the latest updates with DOSBox Turbo. And like the video. Thanks for watching.